agombo agombo woto with a big boy uh, i need somebody with a big toy shopping ya parite na si a toy eh hey, hey, chunya gombo yawa mielongo ma with a big boy uh, i need zungushe in his big toy What did you want to be when you were a child? Hmm, I wanted to be Catherine Kasavuli so bad. <laughs> I wanted to be like her, like I wanted to be her. I wanted to look like her, I wanted to sound like her. I wanted to to be a news anchor. And going all the way through high school, that is all I wanted. I even applied to go to what is it called? MMU so i can be a journalist <laughs> but i didn't get through <laughs> hmm which movie or series have you watched more than once movie the kaitrana i've also read the book an unhealthy amount of times <laughs> movie hmm, another movie let me see let me see let me see or series series definitely bridgerton i am currently obsessed in fact at the moment i'm still stalking the actors <laughs> and still reading reviews just so i can see if everyone else is obsessed as i am mm -hmm. what is the one thing that you are currently enjoying I think being single I'm enjoying my solitude so much <laughs> maybe too much so that's one thing I'm very much enjoying at the moment currently I'm also really 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 enjoying you no know, building a movement through my Shari Africa live shows it's been so eye opening when I see people enjoying when I see people smiling laughing dancing and knowing that i'm facilitating that i think that's a really dope thing and so i'm enjoying that so much um what else am i enjoying i'll tell you later hmm Oof. which is the most near death experience you have ever had I don't know there's one I had there's a little one I had Jana <laughs> but it's not near death experience I just almost you know fell down in front of a lot of high school dudes and that would have been so embarrassing <laughs> that would have been so 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 embarrassing um rather than that near death experience when I was a child I remember I have this one really strong memory so I used to walk back okay walk to school and then walk back home and it was so far so many kilometers and so one day on my way back uh, from school i was crossing the road and then a matatu was approaching for some reason i didn't look left so nilikuwa napita hivi and it was just like here here by the time nilikuwa napita that was so close and i remember I think that was the moment that God became very very relevant to me. I was like, no, there's no way that is not God. <laughs> yeah. I'm loving these questions. Let's see. Between singing and dancing, which one can you do to save your life? <laughs> <laughs> no, I would have danced. No, I'm good at both of them. I would have danced but my trousers is so tight. I I can't move swiftly. So, I'll sing. <clears throat> If I were to save my life, what would I say? Do I sing one of my songs or a cover? <laughs> uh, let me see. Let me see. So I'll sing for you song number 4 from my coming EP. 
it's called mubaba i sing it everywhere <laughs> eh chunya gombo a gombo woto with a big boy uh, i need somebody with a big toy shopping ya parite na si a toy eh yeah, chunya gombo yawa mielongo ma with a big boy ah uh, Ani zungushe in his big toy shopping ya parite na si a toy I hope my life would have been saved <laughs> uh, let's see next when you become a parent what kind of parent do you think you will be so i discipline my cats a lot <laughs> when they do bad things or things they know very well they should not do they meet the road and so i think as a parent i'll be both really soft nurturing open encourage that you know communication between child and parent but at the same time i will not let mistakes fly by <laughs> i'll probably be a very strict disciplinarian as well So I feel almost sad that the questions are almost over. Describe your kind of guy. Huh. <laughs> My kind of guy Sorry, it's about to get very boring in here. So my kind of guy Describe your kind of guy. Woo. <laughs> uh my kind of guy is an Ephesians 5:25 kind of guy that guy is very selfless that guy is able to love me with the same capacity he loves god with that means it lacks understanding it lacks ego it lacks all the bad vices that guy that guy would make me submit you know that guy who is who is ready to lead to be a leader who is ready to guide who is ready to to walk in his purpose and because i am walking in my purpose so i would need someone who is already walking in his purpose knows himself and above all an Ephesians 5:25 guy ah oh, we're almost done i'm so sad <laughs> If you were stuck on an island which three celebs would you like to be there with you dead or alive hmm let's see let's see let's see Albert Einstein <laughs> so he can get us out of there uh, he's smart enough um let's see who is up Trevor Noah Einstein, Trevor Noah, and the third one um Ayu Bogada so he can entertain us. Yes. <laughs> I think I'd be happy getting lost in that island. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're down to the last question. Which is your dream tourist destination and why? Philippines <laughs> you know, I think most of us grew up okay your age, age group ni kidogo but my age mates grew up watching the promise was it, was it the promise it was a philippine romcom tv series and that's when my fascination with the philippines began in some way i just want to go and see that lead actor himself <laughs> his name <laughs> i've forgotten his name but his movie name was angelo most likely i'll just go there to find angelo nothing much <laughs> we're done